Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hello, hello. I'm Sean Sager. I'm the student pastor here at Calvary, and I have your word for the day. Today's passage is one that hits home. It's a warning for those who work with children and students. Uh, But it's also an encouragement for those who want to know how to thrive and be the best in the kingdom of heaven. Let's read it now. Matthew 18, 1 through 6 says this. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus asking, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And so Jesus called a small child to him and he, he put him in front of everybody. And he said, truly, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And verse five says, whoever receives one such child in my name receives me. But whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him to have a great millstone fastened around his neck and to be thrown into the depth of the sea. First of all, when asked the question, who's the greatest in the kingdom of heaven, Jesus could have very easily just pointed to himself. But Jesus is the perfect image of humility and he wants to teach them. And so what does he do? He teaches his disciples the true meaning of being great. And so he brings over a small child and he says, he teaches them these three things about that child. Number one, turn from your sins and become like a little child. What if we took Jesus seriously when he said this and we actually became like little children? Now, don't take that comparison too far. Jesus isn't calling us to be irresponsible, immature, irrational, especially not in matters of our faith. But rather, he's calling us to be joy-filled and be reliant like a child. Here's what I mean. No small child can or rather should care for themselves. Imagine a four-year-old dressing themselves for the day or choosing what they're going to eat for the day. It'd be a mess. You see, just like A small child, we rely on the Father for our every single need. So greatness comes from those who receive joy and care and guidance from the Lord. The second thing is this. Anyone who invites a small child into their lives on behalf of Jesus is, in fact, inviting Jesus into their lives. This verse to me is paralleled with Matthew 25, 40. What you do for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you do for me. And this is Jesus' second lesson on being great. Serve those who will never be able to repay you. Because that's what Jesus did for us. And the third thing is this. Jesus' last lesson here is actually a warning. If you lead a small child like this to sin or faithlessness, you will be as condemned as if a giant millstone was put around your neck and you were drowned in the ocean. You see, Jesus is teaching us that those who are great in the kingdom of heaven stick up for those who cannot defend themselves, and we have an obligation to lead those around them to Jesus, especially the little ones. I know this is kind of a scary warning, but what if I say the wrong thing to, like, like what if I say the wrong thing to a child? What if I, I accidentally mess up when I share the gospel? But what I really want you to understand is that Jesus isn't fickle, and, and secondly, I believe his warning was more against those who purposely want to lead kids astray, especially for their own selfish gain. All this to say, a person who is great in heaven should humble themselves like a child, welcome and serve those who will never be able to repay them, and be purposeful with leading those around them to Christ, especially little ones. Jesus clearly cares for and protects children in this world, and he wants us to learn something from them. Calvary, I love you all. Be like little children and have a great day.